Hello and welcome to Squawk Talk. Talk. Squawk yes, Talk. it's Squawk Talk, and it's awesome. And today's guest, you will not believe who it is. This week we have. All right, the grace, the, the guest is greatly concerned that you recognize her by her elbow, but I don't think so. This week's guest is Olivia Hirata. Mm -hmm. I got it right. <laughs> Um, she is awesome, and um, she has done so much in theater. So excited to do that because we've been on, yeah, both sides of the, yeah. mm -hmm. and then a fill-in day, and then it's it's been crazy stories to tell. But we got to start with this first. Mm -hmm. Do I get you for another year? Yeah, I'm so excited. But I probably won't be in your class. That's okay. We will do plays, right? Yeah. I'm glad. But I know some people got other classes. Do what you love. That's all I care about. And you love to do plays. Because it's fun. And there's friendships. And we'll talk about that, like I said. All right. Um, so you're a middle child? Yeah. How many older, how many younger? Uh, one older, one younger. Ah, boys or girls? Uh, I have an older sister and a younger brother. All right, which one drives you crazier? My brother. I, 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 I was going to guess that. Right. And now the whole world knows. All right. And, and your favorite subject... See, this is the opposite of the last person, last person, but it's still on there. Favorite subjects are math and stretch. Oh, I thought I said math. <laughs> are you sure you could change that one? Um, maybe. Uh, maybe. Is there another favorite class instead? It's fine. I don't know, because I didn't know we could pick, like, our encores, but I like band and stretch. Cool. And then math's just in there. Yeah. But your least favorite is PE. Yeah. I don't like running. It, when it says uh, fitness gram and warm ups for those the specific things. Yeah, I don't like those. <laughs> They're just awful. They ruin it. And you don't want to run, which is yeah, fair yeah. enough. I'll walk. But right. Run. Walk is cool. Running, not cool. Good to know. Good to know. From now on, I got to, during the plays, I got to be like, quick, Olivia, run. <laughs> It'll always be like, no, I'm going to walk. All right. Um, you had a favorite teacher, a fourth grade teacher? Uh, yeah, because she would give us these, like, optional math packets that we yeah. could do. And if we turn them in, then we could eat lunch with her. Oh. And whenever we would do that, we would always do, like, pranks. Oh, on other students and stuff? Yeah, and also, like, other kids. Oh, she, oh, right. She made it so fun. That is awesome. I didn't want to do a prank on another teacher. I have, with Bluetooth or something. Put some <laughs> in the room, different sounds. You get too many? I have some great fart sounds. I'm just saying. We put it up in the ceiling, and like every hour and a half, it just makes a terrible part. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right. <laughs> let's see. We got to make this happen. All right. Um, let's see. Um, so then, I'm not sure what this is. I, I, I wrote it so I couldn't tell. Theater and percussion? Are these two things you're interested in? One of these yeah. Like? I'm so sorry. I didn't label this well enough. So you enjoy theater? Yeah. And percussion? Yeah. Which is the band, obviously. Yeah. Which you already said you like, so we knew that. Cool. cool. How long have you been doing band? Um, well, I mean, since like sixth grade, because that's like the earliest. Oh, that's when you started. Gotcha. That they offered it. Yeah. So, you're in your second year. Mm -hmm. But you're enjoying it, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and we got good bands. Awesome. And let's see. Um, 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 did you put, yeah, we did. You put on your, I, I, it just hit me. I was worried we didn't have on a, uh, Microphone. All right. Um, when you were a kid, you wanted to be either an actor or a teacher or a runner. No, I'm just joking. Or a singer. <laughs> Your face went like. Oh. Yeah, the actor and the singer part were both in like movies. Okay, right, right. Yeah. I don't know. I've always watched movies. Like. Yeah. I remember this one time, I was in like my friend's car for whatever reason, and we were all like singing songs from The Greatest Showman like really loud. Yeah. Like, and then you wanted to be, of yeah. course, of course, very cool. But now you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. Yeah, pretty much. That's, 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 I mean, how, why would you know already? You know, it's a little ways away. Um, I like this one, warning label, and I knew this. It can get really loud. Yeah. I didn't know, know this when I cast you, though. No. But it came in very handy. Yeah, so how did you learn you could be really loud? Uh, you cast me 
Oh, is that how you learned? Yeah. Oh, so you didn't know either. No. Oh, very cool. Big fan. You rocked that. You guys were awesome in that. Um, I don't remember who played it in the past. See, but I won't forget you guys. You so good. You know what I mean? Not that the other people did poorly, but I don't think they they it took it on as well as you guys. Yeah. Well, you I guys thought awesome. it was like so like oh, whenever we were like rehearsing in like here because you were like okay, just like do it as if you're on stage. But we were in like such a like a small room, though. <laughs> right, exactly. and everybody was in here. So. And they were all like, "Oh my God, what room? Re Stop rehearsing that." Um. All right. Um. All right. And I don't know what. See, I knew it. I I wrote these a while ago to make sure I was ahead. So I'm gonna do. Does this mean anything to you? Oh yeah. Okay. What is it? What is it? So. I went to the same theater camp as Audrey, but it was like a different week because she had to do something, which so she couldn't do like the other yeah. weeks of the camp. And we were supposed to make our own scene using like different words. And the words we were given were like oranges, igloos, and platypus. So me and my group made like a scene about genius and gerb, which are like off brand Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> and they like planted like an orange garden and then they went off in their platypus. Jerry was like fighting whatever the evil doctor's name is, and the evil doctor made like an igloo machine, which would like freeze the world. Oh my gosh, you so, really, you, you, I mean, that is super creative. Yeah. It wasn't like we're going shopping, we got this and this and this. Got them all, we're done. No, that was awesome. And and I couldn't remember exactly what it was. I forgot that it was theater camp. That's why I couldn't get it. Yeah. That's really cool. But you have, did you have a blast at camp? Yes, I did. It was really fun. Awesome. And made some friends. Mm -hmm. That's cool. now, there's something about that with theater, the, the friendship. So cool. All right. So I have another thing we're going to look at later, but right now it's time to spell. Let's see, let's see where it's at. we got to go through a lot of stuff. That's somebody else's. Keep going. Oh, man. It's so bad. Oh, no. Yay. <laughs> I knew we were close because I checked it earlier. All right. So what's this picture? So we were at this, like, Monkey Park Zoo thing in Japan. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're welcome. <laughs> and um, I I would like always do poses and like pictures, so we were just posing like monkeys. I'm the uh, one on the right. Very cool. So cute. And it's just a good memory. Yeah. Awesome. Um, this one is also in Japan. Uh huh. Uh, I think we were at like Disneyland or something. But we were with, like, uh, my grandma. I don't know if my grandpa was there, but, like, in Japan and stuff. So we don't really see her that often. Yeah. And we were just eating popcorn out of, like, these Mickey. And you're the one on the right. Yes. I mean, this right. Yeah, on the middle. At first, in I was thinking stage right the first time. I really was. All right. So cute. So it was, like, last year. No. <laughs> No, I got was, you to make that from face like again. 2012. It says the date in like the bottom. Well, I I was and I was completely teasing because if you grew that much in a year, there'd be some problems. So next year you'd be eight feet tall. All right. Um, that one I'm on the left this time. Mm -hmm. That's from Hina Matsuri, which is like Dolls Day or Girls Day. It's like oh. a um holiday celebrated in Japan, mm -hmm. and we set up this little like um thing and it has these like dolls inside and it like plays music if you like wind it up yeah and we get like a bunch of candy and stuff that's the best part right yeah very cool and i have i've not heard of that Next. is it or is that that's it those were all great that we have memories tied with each of those too it yeah. wasn't just very cool i love it i love it i love it all right it's time to all right let's see here now all right ready give it a spin Let's see, let's see, let's see. Tensies, you gotta tell us which one we're gonna play. Which one you want us to do? Clapsy? That one? You just pointed to Clapsy. Pick your color. Clapsy. Clapsy. Do this one! Whatever that one says. Double splits. Double splits. Grab there. five of your die and roll five of the same number. Once you do that, then roll your other five die to get five more of a different number. Okay. Make so sense? the other five have to also be the same number, but a different one. But a different same one. number. Yep. All right. You guys got to tell us when to start. Go. I can't count to five. Mark. Set. 
Go. Uh oh, you're going down. I already got two twos. Oh, I got three twos. Oh my god, there you go. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, oh. All right, she's got seven three. What is my problem? Got it. Oh. Got my deucers. Now I have to try to get it. I got a I got I got a full house right there. One to go. One to go. Oh my god, I'm gonna roll for an I got it. Oh. How close are you? I don't know. I had four Three ones. ones. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You were getting close. I don't win a lot, so thank you. You're probably just being nice to me. It is a lot, but I still like tensions. All right, so um, let's see what we have next. So did spin, we did spin. Stay. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, you're yelling stuff. No, we got to go before that. So tell us your history on the Talking Players Club. Um, I've been in four shows, I think. Right? Because I've been... Yeah. Four shows. Which ones? Horror Hike, uh, oh. Help I'm Trapped in a Musical, um, Doo Wood, Riding Hood, and then Alien. Very cool. And um, what is your favorite part about uh, rehearsing? Um, I don't know. I guess you just get to like, you get to like hang out with people that you don't like have class with, so you don't really see them ever yeah. except for that time. That's a great one. <laughs> and what I liked specifically for you guys in. Uh, do what? Just thinking of that one. The you guys always came to make your characters better, like all the time. Always had questions. Always tried something else. And if I gave an idea, they would just run with it. You would just do it. They were awesome to work with, which is what a director looks looks for. I, if I give direction, can you take direction? What do you do with it? And then you guys take it to a whole new place and go, Mr. Snyder, could we? Could we? And it was awesome. So. Well, it was like my first time, like acting, acting, like yeah. not just like filling in for someone. So right, which is a story in itself. Why don't you tell that story? Um, so I had been tech for like horror hike and then like on the like dress rehearsals, like before the show, so a couple of the act like one of the actors was like gone. She was like sick or something. And so you kinda like came to me and you asked like, Oh, if this actor's not here during the play, do you think you could fill in for her? So I was like, Sure, I, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. And then we had like the really long cause it was like after I think like the really long like break because yeah. like someone had gotten sick. Yeah. And she didn't show up, and I was like, uh-oh. Like, I'm going to actually have to, like, fill in for her. I didn't think this would actually happen. Right, exactly. So I just, like, my character was doing, like, research. She was, like, a researcher, so I just put the script in, like, a little binary mm -hmm. and pretended, pretended it was, like, a little research. Binary. Yeah, and you did a great job. Yeah, it was super fun, too. But the excitement level had to be, like, off the chart. Yeah. Yeah, which is sort of how I got into theater, actually filling in for somebody, which is interesting. So... Um, what's your favorite memory of all your shows with talking players? Um, it was actually it's actually the same one as Audrey's, but it's like whenever during um Help I'm Trapped, whenever we were like all backstage and someone found a rose and I just gave it to Jackson, <laughs> and then while he was like on stage like singing a song for Norma, he was doing like hair flips and like swinging his head around. <laughs> I wasn't doing a whole yeah, yeah. We got we have to look back and get that clip because so many people mentioned it, so we can find it in the video. And um, what do soccer players and ensemble mean to you? Um, kind of like uh, what I said with rehearsal, you get to see people like that you don't really see like during the school day, even though you mm -hmm. go to the same school. And also, you just get to create like a fun like experience for both yourself like and the audience. So. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, yeah, and that's then your your fun experience just bleeds into the eye. That's why yeah. it's so fun to watch. Doing a great. That is awesome. Great comment. All right. I need the uh, triangular thingamajabber blabber. All right. So to explain once again, it's, she will say if she loves something, if she hates it, it, or if she loves and hates it, or if could care less about it. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's start with running. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was the easiest one. And um, roller coasters. Oh, I love roller coasters. What's your favorite one? Um, I don't know, because I've gone on like a a lot kind of. The ones at Disney World weren't that good though. Really? Yeah. Interesting. What, I like the ones at Silver Dollar City. What was? Is there a least favorite? Is there one that you hate? 
Um, it's one, at, I think he was at Silver Dollar City. It's like this wooden one where the track goes through the track. Oh, yeah. And it like spins around, but it like hurt my head a lot. Oh, that's what happens on the ninja for me. It's like, it's like it's... <laughs> um, all right. What do you do? You like horror movies? Um, no. Eat them. Pickles? Love them. Uh, reading? Uh, I don't know which one is that, but it depends on the book. Depends on the book. Lo both love and hate it. Yes. yes. You're forced to read it, and it's not good. Yeah, I don't like nonfiction, which is what we have to do in, like, ELA right now. Right. Uh, I've read some good nonfiction. I'll be honest. Um, let's see. Uh, last one. Oh, shopping. Uh, I think it depends on the shopping, like, the Ooh, kind of shopping. Good. That's very good. Going to the hardware store is not like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cool. A nut. <laughs> All right. Um, coffee. Um, I don't know because I don't really ever have coffee. Don't ever have, right, right. So not not either way. Video games. Uh, I think it depends on the video game. That's good. Your answers are good. They're like cautious, just being <laughs> like. But I hate that one. Um, sports. Uh, I'm not really a fan of sports. Sports music because generally you have to run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to this or that. So it's this or that, and then it's either both. Or neither. Yep. All right. Here we go. Um, acting or tech? Which one do you like better? Oh, um. Both. Both. Yeah. I I, de I definitely like to get like more experience in acting because I've really only done like acting for like one show. Sort of one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. And uh, talk or text? Uh, both. Both. Because obviously there's some things that are easier said like over text, but like some conversations are like better like when you're talking absolutely absolutely and are you tidy or messy both both what kind of like audrey i like to like organize and be clean and all that stuff but i i don't always do that so, right but yes yeah, but sometimes fail to do that yes I, i'm with you on that silly or serious both both again yeah because obviously sometimes there's like moments where you should be like serious and you should like take things like seriously but other times it's... and the craziest time is when you have to be serious but you're dying laughing inside yeah i get kicked out of a class once because my friend and i wouldn't stop laughing it was a theater class at least though so they accept that <laughs> you're already weird but we could not stop laughing uh, um are you a morning person or a night owl um this night owl Night Owl, yes. And would you like better pie or cake? And there is a right answer. Pie? No, cake? Yeah. Sorry, you got that one wrong. Sorry. I don't know. I'm just not really a, a fan of cake because, like, whenever you cut into the crust and everything, a lot of the time, it's everything. You're not a fan of pie, though. Yeah, whenever you cut into the crust of the pie, like, everything falls out. And you're like... mm -hmm. All that delicious stuff falls under your fork. No, I'm just, I'm just. Like what you like. I'm just teasing. And would you like better summer or winter? Um, I like spring and fall. I do too. They are the best. But I, I enjoy winter over summer. Yeah. But I'm with you. I mean, spring and fall is the best. All right. Um, final question. I can take that from you. Final question. Do you like pancakes, waffles, or French toast better? Um, I'm not really sure. Because, like, French toast, it's okay. But, it, like, it's it's not my favorite. And then I like pancakes, I guess. And waffles, but I don't really, I don't really have a favorite. Don't have a favorite. You're always in the middle of the road there. You're always thinking about it. That's impressive. But I mean, but you're thinking, you're like, yeah, but because because everybody, I mean, most of them are just vehicles for the cereal thing. Whatever. Do you put peanut butter on your? <laughs> we already got a yeah out there. Peanut butter on there is so good with the syrup and the yeah. So we've got a yes and a no out here. And finally, last thing I want to hear. You got a story about an escape room? I think so. I don't know. Does it say? It, I didn't. I I just wrote escape room. I figured you would remember. Oh, uh, cause I. Story about one. I've done like. You done a lot. I think so. Can you talk to I think so. It might be that one. That, that's good. Whichever one you want to talk. Okay. Happy well, to hear. You're an so experienced I, escape yeah. room person. I went to an escape room for my friend's birthday, and um. Was that Addy? Yes. Talking about? Okay. <laughs> yes, Lily was there. And so basically we were supposed to be like blindfolded, but they were washing them because 
the pink that one was before so us. stupid. Oh, that was, which one was Addie's? Hmm. Addie was Addie's was the uh, one when like the smart smoke was okay. Well, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna, t- all right, I'm all right. So, all I'm gonna tell you is all these people are confused about their entire <laughs> pack, they have no idea. I was in this play and it was called ABC. No, ah, uh, it was called one, two, three. What? And then it's like, which one? I don't know. Maybe that one. No, ah. Uh. And uh, then I just say X Y Z. See, right, exactly. No, okay, go ahead. I'll it's tell not. It's one. definitely not just Olivia. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's <laughs> the peanut gallery over here. Hey. Woo. I'll tell them more about Audrey's birthday then. All right. Basically, All right. we were supposed. Was Lily to- there? Yep. Yes, she okay, was good, there. She'd be very upset if she was. Okay. <laughs> so we were like supposed to be blindfolded because it was like a kidnapping one, but we weren't blindfolded because they were washing it from the last group. Which was but rigged. We- <laughs> Don't they have more than one? I don't know. Set? But we were handcuffed to like a bed right bed thing. I did oh, you did? I've never done it. And basically, there was like a I bunch of things they had to do. Mm-hmm. While and, like, you're handcuffed? Well, no, I, I found a key. But, like, gotcha. And like, yeah, and then like body parts would, like fall from the ceiling and <laughs> come, <laughs> come out of I cabinets. Did, and... <laughs> the fuck that came from the ceiling landed. You got on my kicked head. in the head while you were there. It was like really <laughs> random. Seems but, really random, but it was fun. Yeah, because of who was there. We got out and with like Lily. forty-five She's seconds nice. left. Oh, really? That's. I didn't exciting. think we were gonna make it, but it's okay. But that's okay. All right, they're yelling at me again. Lily missed my joke about her too. I did. I did. You did. You did. <laughs> and uh, I don't remember. They better. I don't remember. Uh, Something about how she how was, she was like awesome. there. Yeah. No. Yeah. What? You have never called anyone awesome, at, like without joking. Ever. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my All right. So, um, thank you for watching Squawk Talk. It was awesome having you on. Thank you so much. Boom.